This time on Plasma Tech, we're going to talk about one of the most overlooked parts on your engine. So if you didn't know, the throttle body is how we control engine speed. Basically, it's connected to the accelerator pedal in your car, and when you press it, the cable connected to that pedal turns the butterfly, and as it opens, it lets more air in. The more air we're letting in, the more fuel we can add to that air, and the bigger bang we get. Now, your car's manufacturer has spent a lot of time getting the right size throttle body matched to your engine, but that doesn't mean there isn't any room for improvement, and that's where these Plasma Man billet throttle bodies come in. Now, you might be surprised to know that your factory throttle body can actually handle a fair bit of horsepower. Case and example, Falcon XR6 Turbo. We've seen the factory throttle bodies on these engines handle anywhere up to 800 horsepower. So then, when should you actually consider changing your throttle body or going to a bigger one? In most cases, if you're changing your intake manifold, you're gonna to need to change your throttle body because you're gonna be changing the position of it and how it's gonna be activated by your throttle. Now, the industry standard in the performance aftermarket for years now has been cable-driven throttle bodies. And that means a cable is attached to the cable wheel here on the throttle, and that runs all the way to your accelerator pedal in the car. When you press on the pedal, the cable gets pulled and the cable wheel turns. But we've now also got a completely new option, and that is the electric drive-by-wire throttle body. Pretty much every new car today is gonna to have one of these, and this is your drive-by-wire throttle body. And what does drive-by-wire mean? Well, it basically means that there is no more cable connection. The connection between the accelerator pedal and the throttle body is done electronically. The pedal takes a signal, sends it to the ECU, the ECU translates that signal and sends it to the throttle body and tells it how far to open. Now, the drive-by-wire throttle body isn't pretty. It's not a looker by anyone's standards, especially when compared to our billet throttle bodies. But there are a lot of handy advantages to these, particularly when you're doing an engine conversion. Because one, you don't have to run a cable. You just put in your pedal, put in your throttle body, wire it into your ECU, and you're done. A lot of high performance cars now are using drive-by-wire throttle bodies to big advantages. And you might even know some of them, like the Dartone Racing GTR. This uses a drive-by-wire individual throttle setup made by Dartone themselves. And pretty much all your top level XR6 turbo drag cars and LS powered Commodores, they're all using a drive-by-wire throttle body. There's a huge amount of advantages as well. You can use it in conjunction with your modern ECU like Howtex, Lynx, Motex, etc., to run traction control, launch control, a whole bunch of different options. So these are a really good thing to look at. Now compared to the drive-by-wire, the cable throttle might seem a little old school, almost like comparing a holly carb to, well, to the throttle body. But this still has some smarts about it as well. It's got to talk to the ECU too, because the ECU needs to know how far the throttle is open. And it does that by using a throttle position sensor, right here on the opposite side of the throttle body. As the throttle opens, it turns the TPS and sends a signal to the ECU. TPS stands for throttle position sensor and from the factory, it might look like that. Hopefully yours is cleaner. At Plasma Man, we offer a few other options as well. You can use a factory TPS on one of our throttle bodies, but we also offer this, universal TPS or a Vario. Now this universal TPS is pretty much excellent for any street car. In fact, some of the most powerful and fastest cars in Australia are using that TPS right there but the Variome is perfect for race cars. The Variome is a high-end TPS sensor that's a lot less susceptible to vibration, which makes it excellent for use in big tire drag cars, which might see some violent tire shake from launch. Now, as we said before, most factory throttle bodies can actually perform fairly well, but the downside is they look pretty ugly, especially when compared to this handsome chunk of billet right here. Now, the other problem you've got too is that they're all starting to get pretty old. Imagine your engine like a, a 2JZ or a 1JZ. Most of these are approaching 30 years old at this point and the throttle body has seen some hard use in that time. But these big suckers here, lifetime structural warranty. Now Plasma Man, we offer our throttle bodies in a huge range of sizes and I mean huge. We start at 60 millimeters 
for 1.6 liter, 1.8 liter engines like Nissan CA18s, and we go all the way up to 120 mil for monster 500Q plus turbo and supercharged V8s. Now, which size throttle body is gonna be right for your car is gonna be dependent on a couple of different things. One, the size of your engine, how big it is, how many cylinders, the size of your turbo, your power goals, and how you're gonna be using the car. Is it strictly a street car? Are you doing a mix of street and drag racing? Maybe you're doing some circuit racing. It all goes to helping you get the most out of your package, performance and looks wise. They're available in any color you like, as long as it's silver or black, and if you need to know more, Hit us up at plasmaman.com and check out our YouTube channel.